first, let's find out what equations are. Here are some examples. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 2 plus 3 equals 4 plus 1. As you can see, equations have an equal sign, and both sides of the equal sign must be the same value. Let's go through each example and see how it works. 4 plus 0 equals 4 is an equation because the value on the left side is the same as the right side. 1 plus 5 equals 6 is an equation because if 1 plus 5 is solved, 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the answer is 6, which is the same as the other side of the equal sign. Lastly, 2 plus 3 equals 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and 4 plus 1 is also equal to 5. Both sides of the equal sign are the same. Oh, now I get it. To understand equations more, let's fill in the blanks below with either plus or minus. Remember, both sides of the equal sign must be the same. Ah, uh, I know this. Which math symbol would you use to fill in the blank? Uh, plus. Plus. Hmm. Plus. Using plus, plus, we get five plus four equals nine. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Five plus four equals 9. Yeah. This makes the left side equal to the right side. So plus is the correct answer. How about this equation? Which math symbol will you use to fill in the blank? I see 3 minus 1 equals 2. Oh, if yeah, we right. use plus, we will have 3 plus 1, really? which is equal to 4. Uh, That's not the same as the right side of the equal sign. No. I want If we use that. minus, we'll yeah. have 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Yeah. Now, both sides of the equal sign are the same. So, minus is the correct answer. I know it. I that sums it. up our short lesson on addition and subtraction equations. See you next time.